Today I want to talk about the best Bluetooth adapter for the second generation Lexus IS. Hello and welcome, my name is Martin, this is Marty Motoring. I previously put this information in another video. Some of the people that subscribe to me have bought this already and really enjoy it and like it, but I figured I'd give it its own video to get this information out there and uh, just kind of do a little review on this Bluetooth adapter. As you can see, we're quickly losing daylight here in Pennsylvania. It is October and uh, the weather is just getting darker faster, colder weather is here. Winter is coming, unfortunately. So on these older second gen Lexus IS, you get navigation, you get audio, and as you can see, you do have a telephone option. There is Bluetooth, but it's only for calling. You can do calling with the car, but you can't really listen to music, streaming music. Uh, what you do have is an aux port that's inside the center console, and that aux port lets you, you know, plug in a cable, 3.5 millimeter cable, and plug in a phone, uh, anything like that. I used to have a couple of Android phones and they all had the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack but now with the iPhones you gotta get an adapter and you know you only really get the lightning port and that's it. Well I kinda have some sort of solution here uh, involving this Bluetooth adapter. Since I have an iPhone and I like to stream it's just kind of easy to hook up Bluetooth. Um, I don't want to be plugging in a cable all the time and having a cable hanging. I wanted a nice clean install and I found this Bluetooth adapter on Amazon. All the information and the link to buy this on Amazon will be in the description below. So uh, click that and you can see the product listing and buy it if you'd like. The brand is Bazine or D it's like Design but with a B, Bzine. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but uh, they make a quality product either way. I've chosen to mount mine here because it comes with 3M tape and I routed it into the center console. It comes with this little USB power adapter and also here's the aux port so that plugs in. So you have the aux port and you have the power and I just routed it up here with 3M and those are all your controls and it also has a ground, ground loop isolator. So a lot of the times when you plug into the aux, when you have power running, you'll hear the alternator through the speakers um, on some stereo setups and this pretty much takes that away any kind of hum noise and uh, I just kind of wrap up my wires tuck it in there and then have it come out right here leave a little bit of slack just so you know it's not pulling on this there's the Bluetooth adapter so right now it is off because I haven't connected to it so I'll turn it on and as you can hear it just made a sound it's connected my speakers through the aux jack as long as you have this set to aux you are good to go this is on and this is pretty much how you would set it up so if I turn my Bluetooth on, it's called BK01. You'd hit that, you know, connect to it. I forget if there's a password or not. If there is, it's either 0000 or 1234. That's like a default Bluetooth thing. Uh, you just type that in and it should, you know, connect. I think this connected without asking that at all. Once you're connected, you can use your favorite music app. This is just a nice, nice location too, because you're driving, say you're shifting, it doesn't really get in the way, but it is where your hand would rest so you can easily change the song uh, without touching your phone while you're driving. You can also answer calls by pushing that button if somebody calls and that's also how you hang up. Uh, blue would indicate that it's on, red uh, I think is when you hang up. When in pairing mode, it'll flash blue and red. It's stuck here, it's, it's a good location. Um, it, you know, it works with the aux. You don't really lose too much quality, I feel like. It's still very clear and I will demonstrate that now. So like a lot of people, I just use Spotify. I have a vast taste in music, so uh, let's just play this. Uh, my audio settings, I just put treble and bass up like one notch just to give it that little extra kick for the bass and little crispness for the treble. I'm a musician and I'm really into music. I have been since I was pretty much 10 years old uh, playing instruments, so audio is kind of pretty important to me. Uh, the Lexus with the Mark Levinson system is just super nice. Uh, this will work on any type of car that has an aux port, really, but it just works really well for this Lexus because it doesn't have the newer Bluetooth streaming. I found out that the wire fits great right in the center console. This is a great place to mount it, and I'll show you how it changes songs here. There is a little bit of a delay, but that's Bluetooth. And that's how I paused it. 
It's a simple solution for not having music uh, streaming via Bluetooth in these cars. You just hook this up to your aux jack, you have your controls right there, and you're good to go. Uh, if you leave your Bluetooth on and you get back in the car, you know, you go out to the gas station, come back in, turn it on, it'll actually reconnect automatically, and it also powers on automatically and powers off with the car. So there's no batteries, there's no charging anything, there's no switches to hit, it's pretty much all automated and works great. The link will be in the description below. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more Lexus videos in the future, and thanks for watching Marty Motoring, where we're not afraid to leave a little rubber on the road.